intervention, so we work with students that require a little bit more than just one group. Uh, I am particularly the Ontario Program Coordinator, specifically for our native quality intervention, but more specifically for the Bumble Beer Recovery Program, both of which began in 2013. And I've been with the program for several years now. Up on the slide here, you'll see the, uh, a couple of the species that WBC works with. Uh, we have Eastern Long and Shrike, Taylor Checker Spot Butterfly, Oregon Spotted Frog, Sorry, Master Queen and Turtle, Master Slaughter Rattlesnake, and the species I work the most closely with, uh, the Yellow Banded Bumblebee, which is a species of special concern. And it's basically our focal species for the Bumblebee Recovery Program and our conservation breeding program within that program. So one of the components of our bumblebee recovery program is conducting widespread annual population surveys across Ontario. So since 2013, in the spring, we conduct these annual spring queen surveys. Um, and we do this between roughly late April to about mid to late June. And this is done in a very specific time frame because during these surveys, we also actually collect wild queens for our conservation breeding program. And in order to do so, we need to collect them before the initiate of calling in the wild. So it's really critical that we conduct these surveys for a certain part of time in their life cycle. On the left here is a kind of a, a species list. So since 2013, these are all the species we've been able to observe here in Ontario. So there's 18 here. Um, everything highlighted in these red boxes are species we've also been able to record here at the Arboretum uh, within our around 120 uh, queens that we have collected uh, in the spring. And uh, if you look on the bottom, it shows you kind of what's in decline and also what's rare or uncommon. So within the Arboretum, we've been able to find two that are kind of assessed to be in decline, so that's the American bumblebee as well as the yellow banded bumblebee, so the one that I mentioned we focused on, as well as two that are a little bit more rare slash uncommon. So these would be the yellow bumblebee as well as the lemon fruit bumblebee. On the right here, you'll see that we have a site map. So this is just an example of a site map from last year. Uh, so we had a little bit more localized crew due to COVID, so it's one crew of two based out of more well, kind of southern Ontario region. But in other years, we actually have up to three crews, uh, with two of them being more stationed north, where our yellow banded bumblebees are a little bit more abundant. So these are typically in areas such as Huntsville, Sudbury, or Thunder Bay. So typically that map looks much larger, it's a lot more sites. So last year I think we hit around 43 sites. Uh, so at the Arboretum, we've actually been able to conduct 26 surveys since 2014. So this is just a region of spring, we've also been here in the summer as well. Uh, and across those 26 surveys, this is again, we've collected around 220 queens and uh, have observed around 11 species here. Uh, that little photo of the bumblebee on the map is a yellow banded bumblebee queen we were able to observe last year here at the Arboretum. It was actually our first survey of the year. And it's the first time we've been able to observe a yellow banded bumblebee queen in the spring here at the Arboretum since 2015. Uh, another component of our bumblebee recovery program is collaborating on important bumblebee research. So last year we had the opportunity to collaborate on a project that's looking to assess bumblebee population uh, changes over time, both here uh, in Wells as well as in Belleville, Ontario. Uh, and we're doing this by replicating a study that was originally done in the 70s by McFarland and again in the early 2000s by uh, Paula and Packer. And that second kind of study replication done in the early 2000s provided critical data to assess the rusty patch bumblebee uh, decline. So that's the photo of the bumblebee there. So the species was once uh, quite widespread and common here, and unfortunately is now listed as endangered, likely extirpated potentially, and we haven't seen in Canada since 2009. So that study was really critical. So how this study works is we have uh, one kilometer transects and we survey along those weekly. Um, and these are at two sites, road sites currently uh, in Bellwood, and two sites in Wells, so here at the Arboretum as well as Riverside Park. So we survey along those transects weekly, and we also have bi-weekly formal assessments that we conduct along the transects using quadrats. Uh, so on the bottom left here, you can see kind of a, a tentative relative abundance graph from the original study, the 2000s replication, as well as the first year, what's going to be a three-year study that we began last year. Um, I, myself, and Taylor Corrindes, who was a you, you, your, sorry, your university master's student at Sheila College Lab. So you can see that there has been some reported lower abundance compared to the, uh, the 
the previous replication, so the species in the lab of the bumblebee, uh, but there's also been some that have had higher reported relative abundance, <coughs> such as uh, the common eastern bumblebee. Uh, so we'll see what happens this year. This will be the second year of the three-year study, so we're excited to see what we'll find. We're interested in collaborating on any bumblebee research. My contact information is here, and thank you so much. <laughs>